Okay, now we'll get to some, you know, serious chess. Hey, Bishop Tags. Yeah. <laughs> My commentary is awesome. I'm the best at something. I'm not sure what. Yeah. <clears throat> 99,968 followers. We need 32 more. Or 31 more for all nines. Okay, now this position, white is slightly better because white has sort of a bind. It's hard for black to do anything. Right? If, like if I said, what should black do? I'm like, I don't know. Black just sits there and hopes that white can't win. Now, one of my big weaknesses um, when I was getting coached by Kaidanov in the early 90s, according to him, was I was impatient and I was always changing the position instead of slowly improving the position. And if you look at a lot of Super GM games, they play a lot of slow improving moves. And if you look at the games people are losing in the World Cup, it's because they're doing something that's not good instead of building. Yes, or Sarah, I'm like, Magnus is always building. Okay, so Magnus looks like its position's like sort of boring. And the engine says it's about equal. It prefers white a little bit. And like Popeye, S Yesipenko had all he could stands. He didn't stands no more. Mm -hmm. And he just went crazy. Now, sometimes super GMs do that when they think their position sucks. They're like, well, if I play boring and pedantic, I'm just going to lose. So let's play like a lunatic. But that's not the case. As you can see from the engine evaluation, black has, you know, black's top two moves are just like boring, right? And those moves are queen e7 and h6. They don't do anything. And Black started doing stuff, and that didn't work out. Then he had to resign. He mm -hmm. tried, but he failed miserably. And this was the first decisive game of the match. Before this game, they had all draws. Um, Queen A3, yeah. We could not see the engine analysis. Good. Yeah, you're not supposed to. Yeah. Ben's told by producers what to talk about. Incorrect. Mm -hmm. Nobody tells me what to do ever except Karen. All right. So, I mean, when I'm on chess TV, I swear like a sailor, right? I say Danny Wrench is the worst. You think I'm being told what to say? Danny Wrench is on vacation, by the way. He's like, he's gone for a week. Oh, yeah, I know about it. Yeah. And he was like, I was watching. Okay. He's still answering emails. Right. Well, yeah. Okay, so he played 94, which is very bad. But he just, he couldn't, he was like, ah. Okay. And then... Black, white could take a pawn, queen takes, but he has a trick. It's not really a trick. It's just a simple trick, which is queen takes, bishop takes. You can't take with a pawn because your bishop's hanging. Take with the queen, you undefend c6. And the engine says, you know, equal, white's a little better. Okay, so Magnus didn't want the guy to take the knight, so he played knight d7. And Magnus is hoping for rook e8, and now white's a pawn up because you can't take that knight. And this is defended. The knight can go back here later. And the engine says white's a pawn up. It says black has some compensation, but not enough. Okay, now Yesipenko obviously watches my stream a lot. So he always sacks the exchange, plays f5, defending his pawn, letting Magnus take his rook. Okay. Now, black has a bishop and a pawn for a rook, and he's got some nice center going there, right? And then Magnus put it in Magnus mode. Yeah, unfortunately for Yesipenko, these are positions Magnus excels. He has a material advantage, and he has to stop his opponent's counterplay and improve his position slowly. Now Magnus is going to play like an engine. So that... So that First he tried to sack a pawn, then he sacked the exchange, and now the engine just says he's lost. So he was too aggressive. He could have just played chill, been a tiny little worse, and he was like, rawr, I'm Yesipenko. And the director's like, quiet. <clears throat> Let's see. Just a second. Let me answer your question. Mm -hmm. Banned. All right. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's funny. Maybe the reason bishop f8 is better in this position is always play bishop f8. Maybe he doesn't watch my stream. And actually, white wants to trade bishops. Yeah. I don't know. The engine says everything's bad. I'm at death 22. It says they're both terrible. It doesn't say king takes. Okay, so bishop f4 is excellent because 
this bishop, it's not doing a lot. Um, so if they trade these bishops, that bishop's sort of just sitting there. So that's not good. And in this position, after bishop f4, uh, black made another mistake. Black has to take this. G takes f, rook d8. And, you know, white's probably winning with correct play. But at least we have a G file to the king. This pawn could be attacked. If white plays e3, which is the engine move, black can hope in the next 70 moves to get his bishop here. It's not a good hope. 999. Thanks, Panorama. And the engine says white's winning. But it's still better than what he did. He played rook d8 right away. Bishop e5 is an excellent collinear move. The bishop just sits there forever. And if you take the bishop, we get the open d file. White's rooks need open files. We need that. And if you don't take the bishop, that's a really good bishop. And in this position, again, black needs to chill, okay? He has to be like Fonzarelli. And what's Fonzarelli? Cool. Correct mundo. So black has to do nothing here and just wait and hope that white can't breach the, you know. And instead, he just, he lost quickly. And he was very impatient this game, yes, Sipenko. He was always doing something, and the things that he did, which changed the position, they were all bad. So Magnus won very quickly. The engine says, make a boring move that does nothing, but he took. And now we have an open file, which is why rooks are better than bishops in the end game, because the bishop can only control half the board, and the rook can go everywhere. The, the, the bishop is limited. H6, giving him the D file, terrible. Yeah, I mean, just, he won so easily. Okay, now he played queen B4, hoping Magnus would come in here, and then he would play queen E1 check and win. Counterplay. And this is why Magnus is so good. Because I was taught by Kaidanov, you always stop your opponent's counterplay. And I guess Carlson was taught by Kaidanov also. Do you know why Carlson was taught by Kaidanov? Uh, no. Kaidanov is the U.S. senior champion. Oh, okay. Pretty good. Now, let me, let, me, let me say something. During the broadcast of the U.S. senior championship and on Twitter, I read over and over and over again and heard over and over, this is Kaidanov's first national championship. Now, I'm not saying that's wrong, However, I consider the U.S. Open a national championship because it is. And I played in the U.S. Open the Kaidanov won. So he won the U.S. Open in 1992. I tied for second. That's not a national championship winning the U.S. Open. It's, it's a USCF national event. I guarantee it. So they wrote like a million times. Now, Kaidanov's played in like 23 U.S. championships and he's never won. So I understand, but he's won the U.S. Open. So. All right. Um, yeah, did we get 100,000 followers yet? Let's see. 99,973. 99,975. We're getting there. Okay, what game is this? It says what game it is. It's Carlson. Okay. Now, th now, th now this is a great chess lesson. Okay. This is a this this is this, you, this part you, you gotta pay me for this. Okay. okay. So black sack the exchange. Can you go back just a couple? Of I can go back as far as you want. I don't know. Where else. All right. So I'll show you when he sacked the exchange. In this position, he played knight e4, which is bad. And Magnus took. And it, I was given the variation if Magnus takes this, bishop takes is okay. okay. So Magnus played knight e7 attacking the rook. If the rook moves, then I'm just a pawn up. So black sack the exchange by keeping this nice center. I saw his perfect. Keeper. Right, and then he and then after here he should take it, although it's still bad. That Magnus played a really nice move, bishop e5, and black played a terrible move here. The rooks want open files. There are no open files. And yes, Sapenko is like, don't worry about it, and plays here, giving Magnus this open file. Oh. Really bad move. Okay, now he plays here, and this is the this is the best move of the game. The move that's really, really, really boring. White wants to go here, take this, and get another queen. Okay? If, if white plays this, if, mm -hmm. what's black do? In fact, I'll play it for you. What does black do? By the way, black's winning here. Um... That's a blunder. 
It could have been Queenie one check. Queenie one yeah, here. Bishop, this should take either. resigns. Yeah, Black's winning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the the engine says resigns is better than moving. Yeah, tough engine. Okay, now you don't want the guy to play Queen E1, but you want to play Rook D7. So what did White play? Um, King F1. Correct. The best move. Yeah. Now Black has no counterplay. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to Queen. And Black, you know, Black can't do anything. So he tried, but he failed miserably. At Yesipenko. E3. I missed somebody doing something. I heard it. Uh, Goblin is here, 100 cent to do's. You just got to 1,200. Good, good. Pin punch subscribe, also good. Somebody check the followers. I'm too lazy to move my hands over here and type. Always retreat, always retweet. Sorry about that. Always resubscribe. 99,985 followers. Yay. Yeah, Noah Penko. Yeah, during the broadcast, um, Danny, Daniel, Danya Naroditsky. He said, not only is Yesipenko playing, his brother plays chess too, Noah Penko. Okay. That's, I mean, that's like one of my jokes, but worse. <laughs> okay. Now, Magnus is so good at chess, he knows when to break my rules. Thank you, and He did it with a heavy heart. You could see Magnus didn't want to do it. I was, you know, I was doing commentary, mm -hmm. right? Now, he played E3, so his queen could move it on over, you know, and so forth. So Magnus played f3, which you should never do, and he stops all of Black's counterplay. Now here, Black really surprised White by playing the winning queen takes f3 check, and Black wins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true story. 700 cent to do's. Thanks. At Fla hey. It's Flav of Flav. Yeah. You should cap it. Nobody else is allowed to follow. Yeah. Okay, so he tried to get counterplay. He put it in h. And Magnus is like, whatever. And he's like, no, no, put it in H. And Magnus is like, yeah, yeah, put it in H. I'm going to make a queen. He kept putting it in H. If this was Bug House, what, Black's threatening lots of checkmates. Yeah. That king is trapped. Mm -hmm. Everything's checkmates, okay? But it's not Bug House. It's real life. Rook D7. And then Yesipenko's like, I, I can't do anything. He doesn't have any, he can't, uh, yeah. He's gonna check and queen my pawn or whatever. So here he resigned. And that was like a very smooth victory for Magnus because Black did stuff that wasn't good and the stuff that he did gave material away. And then he's like, oh, I don't have any material, darn. And usually super GMs don't do that unless they think something really bad is happening. In my opinion, which I can't prove, I believe that's what Yesipenko thought in this position. He said, if I don't do anything, this pawn's annoying and black has no counterplay, so I'm gonna go crazy and sack the exchange and sack a pawn and make the game all weird instead of just chill. And the engine says, no, queen here, pawn here, equal. White can't, white doesn't. Now obviously Magnus likes white, white has more space, black has no counterplay. It's a Magnus position. So instead of, you know, Going into that good night, he fought against the dying of the light, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's by the famous poet. There's actually five people wrote that poem. Most people don't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Dialon, 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 and Dialon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't believe me. You know why? God, this is one of my top five jokes ever. Ever. <clears throat> it really is. I just made up. Because she's a doubting Thomas. Uh, Dylan Thomas. Yeah, I think I did good there. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm going to give it to you. I mean, that was good. complicated. You spelled Dr. Seuss wrong. <laughs> Boo. 99,999. Yay. Yay. That's even better. All right, time for huge donations for no reason because no, I got no, to 100,000. No. Thanks, no. Forking Ryan. Followers on the stream. Somebody do it. Somebody do the exclaim stats. No, 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 no. I want to see, see the 100,000. I don't want to see 100,001. No, 100,001. No, I missed 100,000. Oh. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Thanks, um, old lawyer dude, for the 10 subs. That's great. I'm going to donate subs too because, you know, let's see. Let's give five. Yay. The more we, five subs to my, to my community for 100,000 <laughs> followers. Soon we'll have 100,000 subs on YouTube and we'll have 10,000 followers on Twitter. 
That's also happening soon. Yay. Yay, thanks, Ben Feingold. You're the best. <laughs> okay. Now, wa watch this. Are you watching? I'm watching. Okay. So here, Magnus played a move I don't like. Oh, I'm going to get back to me. <clears throat> Magnus is black. Okay. He played uh, maybe F6. Correct. Now, when he played F6, that is not a good move. The dungeon says that's terrible. Yeah. And me and Tanya were like, <laughs> frankly, ridiculous. Okay, now White's next move is a move you would never consider. You would never consider it. And when I show you he played it, you'll be like, why do you do that? And I'll be like, I agree. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't understand anything. You ready? You ready yeah. for White's move? I don't think you're ready. I'm ready. Queen A1. What? Uh, okay, yeah, I don't know. All right, now, now Black played the best move here, and he's back into he's back in the game. And it was the reason he played f6, and it's one of my favorite moves. But when I do it, I'm sort of forced to do it. Here, Magnus had the idea, and this was first played against me that I remember by Anand in '86 at Oakham. And when Anand played this, he played it instantly, and I never thought of it. And now I've been playing it because I my knights on g6 a lot because openings I play. And that's why Magnus played f6. He played the number one engine move, knight h8. Because mm -hmm. he wants to play knight f7 and win that rook. That's pretty sneaky. Yeah, f6, yeah. knight h8 to f7. I play knight h8 all the time. That's because they play h5 and I have to play knight h8. Yeah. So this was very bad, queen a1. <clears throat> because, and f6 wasn't a great move. But after queen a1, it's a great move. Because he's... Who's going to see that? I play knight h8 all the time and I still didn't see it. Okay, so he played the best move. Bishop b5. Now he has to win the game again. Knight, knight here doesn't work anymore because this is attacked. If you trade bishops, I have the e6 square for my rook. So the rook's not trapped anymore. Now the engine move, confusing everybody. Ready to be confused? Mm -hmm. Is here. See, it cuts off this rook. And then if you play here, which looks obvious, now this rook's trapped. <laughs> anyway, the engine still likes white, but that's crazy. Like, it's all crazy tactics. Mm -hmm. He just took on b5. You can't take with the rook because your rook's hanging. So he plays rook e6. Swish and zook, very good move. I wonder if Magnus saw that because it's such a good move. Okay, then takes with the rook and now this is weak this is weak that's terrible this knight's coming in past pawn and white's back to winning again yeah yeah and i i didn't want usually i don't like to be disagreeable unless it's like you know naraditsky hangs a queen or something naraditsky never hangs a queen but sometimes hess does hess, hess blunder sometimes is analysis like i do but I don't want to say to Naroditsky, like, if Naroditsky says, I think the position's equal, and I think Black's winning, I don't say, you're an idiot, Black's winning. I'm thinking it. And here, maybe to keep the spectators interested, he was saying, like, oh, this is a very tough, and, you know, the game's not over yet, and Magnus is hanging on. And all I was thinking was, what? I was just thinking, like, Magnus can resign here, and if Magnus was white... Everybody would say Magnus is killing him and Magnus is the best. But Magnus is black and they're like, oh, Magnus has chances here. No, he doesn't. This is the worst position I ever saw. But I just said like, yeah, okay. What? what? I, I can't believe how bad black's position is. Okay, A5 is correct. Now, when he played Rook F8, we in unison agreed Magnus is a genius. The idea is if you take this, then I play Knight D8 forking the Rooks. Mm. That's really cool. Of course, you don't take this, but still. Okay, so he put it in H. He wants to get in there. She said, Knight D8. That's not very good. I mean, it doesn't matter. He's just lost. Yeah, he should have repeated. Always repeat. Never play F3. I mean, Black has no counter player. He's just lost. Down material and lost. Yeah, and this is really nice. Yeah, if you, he played here, and now we thought white only had one winning move. Wow, the second winning move is insane. The first winning move is sort of boring. This move also wins. Wow, and then if you take it, you go here. 
And you're just taking all the pawns. Wow. Right, nobody's doing that. He played rook d6. The knight's trapped. Yeah, there's nothing to do now. You can't defend the knight. So you have to trade and go into this dead lost rook ending. So I thought white would play rook here. Rook takes pawn. Rook takes pawn. Rook behind the a pawn. Rook here resigns. Yay, yeah, that's the engine line is rook d7. Yeah, I mean, that's just... What's easier than that? So I said that on stream, like, white this, you just do this and you win. What's the problem? Now, it turns out everything wins, so it doesn't matter. He's up two pawns. He played this way because this goes into a winning kingdom pawn ending. So that's quicker. Yeah, every move wins here. Somehow, Danya was like, this wins and maybe some other move wins. And I'm like, every move wins. What are you talking about? Yeah, now you have to go after this pawn. And the reason you lose is funny. King f5 is an important finesse. King takes g5 also wins, but yeah. Now here, if I queen and you queen, I said if, mm -hmm. then I go queen check, queen check, and take your queen. So black has to go back here and stop the pawn and then queen, but he can't do that. And when I say he can't do that, white really made sure he couldn't do it. He played king d6. So you can't legally stop that. And now Magnus resigned because this is all forced. They both saw the Fisher movie. Probably neither one saw it. And then check, and then check, and then win the queen. So after king d6, Magnus resigned. So that's the first rapid game in the World Cup that Magnus has lost since 2005. Now, you guys think Magnus is the greatest of all time, but I guarantee you that Karen and I haven't lost a game in the World Cup ever, in slow or rapid. So I don't, why is, why is that so impressive? Terrible. Yay, 100,000 viewers. Yay. The more you donate, the more money we have. Not viewers, followers. Viewers would be even crazier. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for following. 